I literally know next to nothing about life, but I do know this, accepting ourselves as people makes us better photographers. We all wear a mask. We have this image that we project out to the world, definitely on social media. People see us for exactly who we are. So it doesn't matter what masks we wear. People see right through them. So we have to ask ourselves, who are these masks that we wear? Who are they for? Are they for us? They must be. Because the people who see us, see us for who we are. It's exhausting projecting something outward into the universe that's not us. Something that we have to maintain, something that we have to keep up, especially if everybody sees through it. Having this false projection be the version of us that people are accepting, that's the one out there that people are liking. How messed up is that? There's no one more complicated than us. Accept it. Embrace it. Embrace your shyness. Embrace your oddity. Accept yourself. We have to kill that ego side of us that so often gets in the way. I've always had social anxiety. I've always felt like the strange one. Why would anyone care about my photography, my oddities, me? But I also know that my oddities, my idiosyncrasies, my shyness is the reason that I notice photographs to begin with. It's that nuance, that oddity, that difference. That's where creativity lives. Why do the creative ones have to continually deal with so much internal turmoil? Why us? It took a while for me to realize that all I actually wanted to do was to be of service to people. Being selfless and killing our ego, being of service to people, that's the future. My passion and love for photography and my goals with my camera supersede my shyness. My goals with helping emerging photographers get to the next level, whatever that level is, supersedes my shyness. It's why I'm on camera. I've had a channel for so long and I've been mentoring photographers for so long in person, but my social anxiety and my on-camera anxiety is why I've never been on YouTube. I realized that accepting myself and killing the ego side of all things. And that was the reason that I was afraid to put myself out there was ego. As Soon as I accepted myself, I started making a lot more videos. If you're also a shy photographer, if you're also a shy person, dive into the work, dive into creativity. There's no better antidote for shyness than embracing yourself in your creativity. Nothing is more rewarding than executing our ideas for ourselves or for our clients. In life, there are amazing ups and absolutely horrible downs, but with your camera, you can be of service to people. If you kill your ego, you can do it honestly without having to project anything else other than who you naturally are. When you dive into your creativity, you're leaving a legacy of your photography behind. You're being of service to people. You're documenting your life and your ideas and they're permanent through photography. You're living and creating a life that inspires. When we accept ourselves and share ourselves and kill our ego and focus only on being of service to people, that's when we actually can live our lives. That's when we actually will find success with our photographs. There's no better attitude adjuster than creativity. Create your own rules, create your own work, accept yourself, and be of service to others. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, keep shooting.